Hey, what is going on, everybody? Bauer Brown here. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and welcome to another video. Uh, this one's going to be Farm Sim slash Blender. Okay, uh, the topic of today's video is LODs. That's L O D, like Larry Oscar Delta, basically. <laughs> L O D. All right. Um, the reason I'm going over this is I get a lot of questions about LODs. Right. People seem to be a little bit confused by them, like, you know, like what they are, what function they serve uh, and do they really need them? And the answer is definitely yes, <laughs> you do need them. And I'll explain what function they serve. Now, I've seen people go as far as even deleting them out of uh, certain objects on their map. And you really do not want to do that. All right. So especially if you're creating your own map and most especially if you are creating custom objects for your map, you need LODs, all right? So LOD, what that stands for is level of detail, okay? And in a nutshell, it's progressively, it's a series of models, right? It's the same model and it's, it's progressively a series or it's a series of that same model with progressively like less and less detail, right? All right, so I'll, I'll show you an example here of what I mean. So looking at a square here. Actually, let's get rid of this square. Let's do something else. All right, so we'll get rid of this. Oops, delete that. Uh, we'll make like a mock tree that we can use in a game. All right, so let's, uh, let's give it a trunk like this. All right. Just real, I'm just really quick. I mean, this is a very generic tree, but we're going to make it just like this. All right. All right. So there's our, our tree for, <laughs> for demonstration purposes. All right. Now, if you look up here, you can see triangles. We're at about 160 triangles. Okay. Now, if this was full detail, you, you know, as you're standing right in front of the tree in game, you would see all the branches, all the leaves, a nice pattern on the bark. You would see it in all of its glory, all of its 4K detail. All right. Now, say you had a bunch of these trees, right, right in that immediate area. Now you can start multiplying that 160 by however many trees you have. And that 160 is a very low figure, by the way. If this was a tree, an actual tree, it would be way higher than that, way, way higher. All right. And, and the number of vertices and, and triangles that you have in your scene is very important. You know, this is what starts slowing down your maps and everything else. It's because it's you just have it way just overloaded. Right. And this happens during rendering. So as you're in the game, it changes on the fly. Right. Of which one of these LODs it loads. And I'll explain that to you. I'll show it to you. All right. So like I said, if you're in the game, you know, pretending we're in the game and we're up close in front of this tree, you'll see it in all of its 4K glory and all of the other trees in the area you would also see and they're, you know, full resolution. Now, as you start stepping back, you can see from back here, let me get that cursor out of the way. There's really not much that we can see here. There, there's no detail at all. You know, you can just kind of make out the shape of the tree, but it's still rendering at its full 160 triangles, right? And all of the other trees. And there's no point. You can't even see the detail. So why render all of that detail if you can't see it? All right, so some uh, 3D applications like Maya and, and other ones, they, uh, they have, autom I think they have LOD makers in them. I'm not 100% on that, so don't hold me to it. Uh, but Blender does not, unfortunately. So you either need a third-party application or you have to create your own LODs. All right, so like I said, an LOD would be a, a basically a duplicate of this model with just less geometry, right? So you would have less triangles. Now, I have an add-on here that is, uh, let's see here, I have an LOD maker. All right, so we can select our object there, and we're going to tell it to make our LOD objects. Now, you can see that looks really, really bad, but let's start turning some of these off. All right, so LOD zero is what we would see in game, okay? That's our full resolution. Everything looks really good. All right, so now we'd step back to, let's say, maybe here. All right, we'll turn off LOD zero. 
and LOD1 should kick in. Well, from back here, you really can't tell much of a difference. It basically looks like the same object. All right, if you step back a little bit further, you turn off LOD1 uh, and turn on LOD2. And again, we still see that same, you know, it, it looks like the same object. All right, now if we were to get closer again, you can see obviously it is it is not the same object. All right, so that's what's happening. So as we step down, our geometry is becoming less and less because you cannot make out that detail at a distance, right? So this will get all the way down to the point where, well, that one looks hideous, so we, <laughs> we won't include that one. We can see this one here, it's just, it's mostly a triangle for the base, all right? And that, you know, from a distance, you, you really wouldn't be able to tell. But you can see from our original 160, we're down to 19. All right, now we would never, well, you could step down that far. What you want to do is you want to pick one that still looks good and it's going to look good from a distance. I think perhaps I would settle on this one. I would either do the 40 or I would do number one here, which would be 80, which is literally half. We cut that in half, okay? So instead of rendering 160, you know, all the way out in our scene, we would only be rendering 80. Now there's a distance. We can give this an LOD distance. So as we start getting closer, like say maybe right in here, this object would change over to our 160. And as we got closer, we'll see it in full detail. All right. So you're going to either have to pick up a third party add on like I have here, this LOD maker. Um, I'll link to it. I'm not sure if it was paid or if it was free or if I can even find it again. It has the guy's name in here, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. But I'll put a link to it if you're interested in something like this. Uh, so like I said, if you're creating your own objects for in-game, this is extremely important, right? You, you don't want to be throwing all these high detail objects uh, in your map. And then you're trying to render all of these things, especially if like, you're doing something like I did. You built a whole city. You know, you'll you'll see your frame rate will drop pretty fast. Like once you drive into the city, if you don't have your LOD set up correctly, right? Because you're just rendering. Well, in the city, it's going to be is what it is because everything within a certain radius is still going to be uh, resolving in full resolution anyhow. Uh, but, you, but you get what I'm trying to say, though. OK, uh, so let's hop over to game and, and I'll show you how to use it. We're going to hop into the into the editor. All right. So here. We have a house, okay? This is something that that giant's built. This is a giant's house. And what you're looking at here is full full resolution, right? This is LOD zero. So it works sequentially. So what you have here, LOD zero would be your full resolution, right? That would be, uh, if you're looking up here, you got 7,113 vertices, right? Actually, that wouldn't be too accurate. Let's do... Yeah, it would be, that'd be accurate. All right, so like I said, 7,113 vertices. Uh, if you go down to LOD1, you're at 560, All right? So you can see the difference. It's, it's, it's a pretty big difference there, all right? And the way this would work is if you're looking at the house here, here, I'll give you a really good example here, is we'll take the house and we'll turn off the visibility. All right, now other parts of the house are still gonna show up because these have their own LODs, all right? But as we start backing up, you'll eventually get to a spot where the house will come into view. Eventually. All right, right there. All right, so right there is our LOD one that we're looking at, right? And it we can't see for, from here, you know, it just looks like the same house. But if we were able to get up close to that house, you'd see that there's much, much less detail in that house, but you can't tell from back here and it doesn't make a difference, right? So from a distance, as you're approaching a town, or if you can just kind of see the town off in the background when you're working in the fields, it's not trying, you know, to render that scene with an, an incredible amount of detail because it's not necessary. All right, so as you start getting closer, then once again, from here, you would see LOD zero, which is basically your, your full resolution, right? Your, your, your uh, high poly model. All right, so how do you make your own? So you're going to have to choose 
how you make, you know, how you want to go about making your, your various models, because you are going to need at least two versions. You're going to need your, your high poly and then your low poly version. So two versions really isn't that bad. Uh, you could do more if you want to, right? Uh, so you're going you're gonna to end up setting the distance. So what you'll do is once you have your two models here, uh, you'll have your main transform group, like you see residential house that we have here, and then LOD0 and LOD1. So like I said, these go sequentially. LOD0 is always your, your full resolution high poly mesh, and then it steps down from there, right? So LOD1 is one step below that. That's a low poly mesh. Um, and then LOD2 would be even lower than that. And LOD3, 4, depends how far you want to go down. All right, so you take your main transform group here. And in your attributes, you can see that you have a checkbox here for LOD, right? So, and this will be on your, your main transform group. It won't be on the LOD itself. You need to create a transform group that will hold both of these LODs. All right, and then you click on the LOD. And now over under LOD, you can see that you have a level one and a level two. Now, level one is your, your full, you know, your full high poly, full resolution. Level two, or well, basically level two would be level one. So at if you're more than 150 meters away, you're seeing, you know, you're seeing LOD one. 150 meters or closer, you're seeing LOD zero. That's why you only need that one cutoff there. All right. So closer than this number, you got the LOD zero further away. So that's basically the cutoff point. So LOD zero, you're looking at, and as you keep stepping back, stepping back, stepping back, stepping back, once you make it 150 meters away, then LOD one kicks in. All right. Now you can see that it does have a, an option for LOD two, but LOD three is grayed out. Now, why would that be? All right. So how do you go about, you know, what if you wanted to use an extra LOD? Now, this is a, the naming conventions are important in this respect. All right. So you do need to name them LOD zero and LOD one. And then obviously the next one would be LOD two. So if I was to duplicate this LOD one, this computer is a little bit slower. I really need to swap these computers. Okay. And we'll rename that to LOD two. All right. So now when we go into our main transform group and we look under LOD, now we have that third level is available to us. And then we can start setting these distances, right? So now that we have another LOD, uh, maybe you want that one to be 300. So from 300 meters away, you know, you're seeing, you know, even a, a lesser poly version, right? Something that has even less uh, vertices and, and less resolution to it, right? So these are very, very important when it comes to gameplay, all right? So, or making your own maps. And the reason I wanted to go over this, um, one, because I'm fielding a lot of questions about this. This seems to be a lot of confusion. Now just Google it. There's tons of information out there on what LODs are, how they work, uh, the whole nine yards, right? So you can learn anything you want to, you know, need to know about them is out there on the internet. All right. But within your maps, it's, it's vitally important within your maps to have these LODs. So you're not killing your map, you know, especially if you're doing like a two kilometer map and you are making those maps available to console players, right? That's very important. Then, you know, the PC guys can get away with it. You know, if you have a higher end PC, you can handle it, but console players could not. Right. So you definitely, definitely need to be utilizing your LODs. Now, trees are a little bit different because they use something called the uh, there's is basically two dimensional. They're not taking the same tree. Let's see if I can pick one of these. All right. See how that tree in its full resolution, you have all the branches and the tree trunk and everything else. All right. So when you start getting into the LODs of this. All right. If you look at LOD one. All right, right here, you can't see anything. You have to actually turn right there and you hit it from the right angle. And that's what they call a billboard. They use a billboard shader. So when you're looking at this from a distance, you're just basically seeing a two-dimensional object. You can see that it only has 16 vertices compared to the main tree, which has 1,715. How is that for a difference, right? But they need to do that because people are using a boatload of trees in their scene 
And you need to make a way to, to have that, you know, render at a much, you know, you're not killing the system, basically. All right. And then I believe this billboard shader, as you turn, you know, and look at it from a different angle, it, it turns with you. So you're, you're always going to be seeing, you know, that flat on object. So from a distance, you can even see it with the trees here as we start backing up. So if we, if we pick a tree, like let's pick a big tree. Yeah, let's pick this one over here. So if we pick this big tree here, right, we look at it in, in all of its glory there. It's all, you know, all the detail, 4K of it. Of course, that's not 4K, but you get the idea. So as we start backing up, you'll see where, where it makes the switch. See right there? Now you're looking at that, that billboard effect, right? So no matter which way you turn, see how that tree is turning with me, All right? So I'm only looking at a 2D version of that tree right there. I'm just looking at, you know, billboard, basically. It's just a flat tree. But as I get closer, you know, then, then the 3D kicks in. And that's the LOD coming into effect, right? So that cutoff distance, whatever it happens to be, is, is right here in this area. All right, so same things for the houses. They're not complicated. You know, every, I think people are complicating them more than they need to be. Uh, just make sure everything sits in its own transform group. Like you have here, that's, you know, why this residential households, LOD zero, LOD one. And just, just copy what you see, like pick something on base game that has a LOD and copy what you see here, you know, give it its own transform group and then LOD zero, LOD one, and you're good to go. All right. So that's going to help out in the long run when, like I said, you're making your own map objects in your own app, in your own map. And console players will thank you for it, as well as PC players. And you're one step closer to, you know, being a better modder and doing things the proper way. All right. So that was probably one of my quickest videos in history. But in a nutshell, that is LODs. I hope it helped. And I'm Bauer Brown. And I'll see you on the next one.